Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, I think the good news for me, it's been nearly two years. I haven't done any videos or any repair. But today I'm going to try to repair this NVR. Um, it's been really a while, a long while. This NVR has a problem on the HDMI. Uh, it works with VGA uh, cable or VGA port and the mouse is also not working there is no response when you plug in plug in a mouse so probably they the, this both of this problem are related um, I'm not going to make this video long I already checked the problem and um, my first initial inspection i found there are some caps that are swollen up i will show you guys on the microscope um, i just wanted to show first how does this dvl looks that's that's i mean this is the nvr sorry it's quite expensive so the guys they they can't they can only see the video feed on the vga but they cannot access um, through this nvr their recorded videos so hopefully it can be fixed okay guys these are the caps one two three and one over here they are swollen up so i'm suspecting these four caps they are done blown something I'm going to remove them and then we will check it from there Okay guys, I did remove the capacitor, you can see, it's 220 microfarad capacitor, um, 16 volt, but I do have 220 microfarad capacitor, it's this ones, but they are 25 volt, and I did search and have a research on YouTube and Google. If the capacitors capacity is same but the voltage is high it's fine uh, it's actually better so I will use this 220 microfarad caps which is 25 volt but let's see if I'm right if this old ones the solar up capacitor are they faulty or not I have a uh, multimeter here. The multimeter does have capacitor tester. You can see on the we put on cap caps mode. Look, they are their reading should be 220. Five hundred and eleven, four ninety six, four eighty one. This one is not right. Four fifty two. 
I couldn't show you guys nicely the the how uh, way how did I take the caps out. The reason was half of the video was done last night. 545 OL 498. Um and in that point when I was removing the caps from the board, load sharing app. Living in South the tape, the tape the face cam anyway I'm living in Western Cape so our load sharing schedule was on uh, 8 to 10 so the video was or I was busy with the video at just before the load sharing so I didn't I couldn't um, record because the recording computers I have two computer next to each other in my shop uh, I have a small spada shop or a, what you call grocery shop where I put my repairing counter on the corner so I rely on UPS to run my computer that run do my till for the shop now that one to keep that one on I cannot use any other computer on my UPS because I have a big UPS this UPS is about 2800 KV um, max output and it's it's uh, it's I think uh, not I think it has six batteries 12 volt batteries which I replaced last year with uh, what do you call that battery um, this those are not uh, lead acid battery those are lipo battery cost me a lot of money about 4000 rand for six batteries so now that UPS keeps me about two to three hours sometimes if I only use the, the till computer without any lights in the shop during the day it can last about four hours but the computer must be on standby most of the time when I'm not using it. Only I, I put it on or I get into the system when some customer comes. Anyway, uh, so I couldn't record all the videos of removing that caps. Yeah. Anyway, let's check these caps, the new ones. Look at the model team meter. They are 219. For your information, I did check all of them. They all shows plus minus the same values to 90. These are new caps. So I just hope that what I suspected to 19 that these caps are causing the, the, the machine to not function properly. Um, I'm going to replace the caps, put them back, the new ones, and then see what happens from there all those new ones is to 18 to 19 somewhere day now the board is here I'm not gonna use the microscope I think I rather use the overhead cam let's put those caps plus remember the capacitor has polarity they have to go into the right polarity on the right order plus minus plus must go to plus minus must go to minus you can see let me see you can, guys can see no. anyway it the board does have markings on the on the plus and minus you can see here there is a plus I can't see I can't see let me check if I can show you guys on the microscope some customer is here. Anyway, I'm going to pause the, the, the video for now. I have a customer that is revving his car. It's sometimes makes you irritated. Okay. Right, I'm back. Mm. Let's put those cam caps in his place 
Remember plus in plus is place, minus in minus is place. I think I will try to zoom a little bit for you guys. Okay, you can see the boat is nice and clean. Caps are in those three caps and this one. So I will uh, give me a little bit of time. I'm going to put that, remove all the stuff, and then we'll put this one into the uh, NVR box. And then we will test it from there. Okay. Okay guys, it's you can see D 
did put it just I didn't put screws and stuff I just connect them. Let's see if my work out. In the box the screen as a signal well the signal you can see it comes on but here there is a noise so the problem is the really still the same but it is not able to see the same problem so changing the caps in for the problem out no signal so i am suspecting the hdmi controller i see is because if you have a look let me change it change that on the tv to the vga on the vga Oh, it's working you see but you see the mouse I did connect the mouse you can see in the screen there's no mouse nothing so whatever whichever chip is gone it's causing the this two problem the mouse is not working and no signal on HDMI after boot after boot screen so it's a failed repair I am going to end this uh, video here. Um, it is a failed repair. I'm going to put everything back together and call the uh, customer Monday so that they can come and collect. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, some of you will have interest on in this video. I don't think most of you will like because the repair was not didn't work so anyway please like my videos and watch the other videos also and definitely subscribe and let your friends subscribe let your people subscribe because I am still uh, very low on subscriber and because I didn't made enough videos for any videos for past two years uh, my life is been hectic so other stairs then doing repair or making videos which I had to deal with um, all business is gone it's a lot of stuff anyway we will talk about that at some other time please 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 share like subscribe thank you all um, I'll see if I can make another video with something else and I do have a news for you guys I am this I decided that I will make beside repair uh, I don't have a lot of repair so I am going to try to to make other videos like I am a gaming fan I like playing PC games and stuff I am gaming fan so I will do probably with my son I will do some uh, two of us will play some videos video games and stuff <clears throat> and that's one of my idea the other idea is I'm thinking uh, of making videos on online gambling. 
<laughs> I've been exploring this sector for a while now. Um, the reason why I decided to do that. Uh, The reason for it, why not? If I do play some some online gambling or something like spins and stuff, and there is games like Aviator. If if I do play, um, sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. Doesn't matter on losing or winning, but uh, I can make a video and post it on YouTube. A lot of other people are doing that and it's kind of fun so even though I don't post a lot of repair videos in future definitely online gambling online betting I will I will I will put videos on because let's do something fun yeah why not But I'm not going to make different channel for that. I will use one channel AFX Z and then I will put everything on different not in the same folder, different playlist. So you guys can go to the playlist and from there you choose your what interests you. If it's gam online gambling, if it's um the online gambling is is big, trust me. There's so many games to play. Uh, there is so many types of games to play and I am I don't have experience with that to post a video like that or make a video like that I just watch other people's videos and from there I I hope I did learn or do learn or will learn some um, stuff or way to make videos regarding those online betting or online gambling um yeah thank you very much have a great night goodbye